Most of us know the plank as a core exercise, but when we think of the core in that sense, we think abs. So the muscles that create the, the six pack, the rectus abdominis. That's not our focus here. Our focus, as always, is the deep musculature of the core and the spine. So what we're trying to do here is to resist extension. You'll feel that your lower back and your pelvis want to drop down towards the floor. We're fighting that. We're using the muscles of the core to do so, and we're trying to maintain a neutral spine. Beginning on all fours, we're actually going to start with our hands down, and we're going to begin in a high plank position. Now the reason for this is it's slightly less demanding on the core, so it's a good way to start. So we're bringing the toes down into the floor, trying to create a straight line between the shoulders, hips, knees and ankles. And we're going to hold that there with the aim being to resist extension. So trying to keep that whole core tight, we're going to hold that for three lots of ten seconds. If you can do a high plank for three lots of ten seconds, no pain, good form, good stability, not too much shaking, then we can move into a traditional plank. So from there, we can pop the elbows down. I like to clasp the fingers together. I want you to try and keep your bum up, keep that neutral spine, and hold this position for three lots of ten seconds, aiming to keep a tight core and a neutral spine throughout.